Hello and welcome to the environment this week series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be covering topics which are important from general studies paper 3 that is environment and ecology. So the concept that we will be following is we will be taking news from the current affairs and then we will be talking about the static portion of it and in the end we will be solving the practice questions related to those questions and in the end you will be giving the answers of these practice questions in the comment section. So First of all, let us see that what are those topics that we will be discussing today. So, that is Sparrow, Plastic, Odessi and will India's solar energy production capacity decrease or not? So, before moving forward, Drishti IAS Noida Center, the offline batches admissions are open for both Hindi medium and English medium for the IAS GS foundation course covering both prelims and Means English medium batch is starting from 8th of April while the Hindi medium batch is starting from 26th of March. For any info, for more information, give us a call at 87501 87501. So, the first topic is the Sparrow. Now, Sparrow was in news because the World Sparrow Day 2025 gets celebrated on 20th March every year. So, World Sparrow Day was there. So, because of it, the Sparrow came into the news and this year that is 2025 the Sparrow World Sparrow Day theme was a tribute to nature's tiny messenger that this tiny messenger because sparrow is very small in size look at the image this is how a sparrow looks like it is very small in size so a tribute to the nature's tiny messenger and the purpose of this theme is to restore human affection towards sparrows and inspire people towards conservation activities as the sparrows which were so much in numbers earlier now the even the numbers of sparrows are coming down and the and the law people as of now are losing connection with the nature and also the sparrows so the restoration of human affection with sparrows needs to come back and this is what is the purpose of this theme then ecological importance of sparrows so first of all Sparrows play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance. First, from natural pest control perspective, that is, they eat insects, helping in pest control. So, because the sparrows are insect eaters, so this also helps in the control of the pest and the volume of the insects does not rise much. Then, pollination and seed dispersal. Pollination and seed dispersal, their activity aids in the growth of various plants as they also act as a transporter or they also act as a carrier for the pollination process that is it carries pollens from one place to another place. Then biodiversity enhancement. So the presence of sparrows is important for healthy ecosystems in both urban and rural areas because for any ecosystem to remain intact or the food chains and the food web to remain intact it needs to have all the components in its place and the components can remain in place only when every single character is performing his or her duties then what are the threats to sparrows so that is the sparrow population is declining due to habitat loss urbanization and changes in the agricultural practice now, changes in the agricultural practice is also playing a lot of role because the agricultural practices which nowadays are going on, there is so much of use of fertilizers, pesticides, urea that the, the area in which sparrows are much in number and the agricultural practices which are used are not going well with the habitat of the sparrows, then the number of sparrows will slowly and gradually decline. Then, the destruction of the destruction of nest and grazing lands along with the decline in insects populations are the main cause. Now, destruction of nest and grazing land. Nest, destruction of nets means that because of the increase of the urbanization and the development activities, so the habitat loss of the sparrows and the areas where sparrow actually build their nest or form their house is also declining in numbers. Then, this decline has wide ranging effects that is which is a threat to biodiversity. Now about the conservation efforts of Sparrow. So the efforts is include urban greening projects and agricultural ecological practices to create suitable habitats for 
स्पेरोज नाउ इफ द स्पेरोज आर मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द एरिया वेर दे अर्लियर यूज टू स्टे देन वॉट नीड्स टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड दैट वॉट आर द एरियाज और वॉट आर द प्रैक्टिस दैट नीड्स टू बी सीन that the agricultural or the greening regions needs to brought back so that the sparrows can come and actually look for the areas where which are suitable for the building of their nest and home now about sparrows so these are few of the sparrows species scientific name habitat preferences and distribution in india so first and foremost is the house sparrow so that is passer domesticus then urban urban and rural areas so that is widely distributed across india then eurasian tree sparrow so that is passer montanus then comes woodlands parks and gardens found in various regions across india less common than house sparrows then next comes the white throated sparrow that is zonotrichia albicollis so that is northern regions mountainous areas next is mainly in jammu and kashmir or himachal pradesh next comes the chestnut shouldered petronas that is they are found in dry forest scrublands and inhabit areas like rajasthan or gujarat then comes rufous trippy wet regions and forest they are found in the areas of assam or west bengal then baya weaver coastal areas wetlands usually found in the region of goa or kerala now what happens is so if any bird or any animal or any mammal remains in news any of the species if any of its species very much in news then the question can be asked from that also now that becomes a difficult thing to answer next topic is the plastic odyssey and the plastic odyssey is the name of a ship now plastic odyssey is a name of a ship and it is a floating laboratory for sustainable solution so it is basically a ship which is on us which is sailing and it is on a mission to reduce plastic waste and also to reduce plastic pollution then plastic odyssey is a 40 meter long floating laboratory it is on a 3 and a half year global journey to fight plastic pollution as plastic pollution is rising in number and plastic waste and plastic pollution has become a minec with regard to the long and the large oceans because dealing with the plastic pollution and plastic waste in itself is a big challenge then the ship departed from marseilles france and marseilles france france is also a place which pm modi when he went to the france visit visited marseilles the ship departed from marseilles france on 1st october 2022 and is collecting affordable sustainable solutions for for plastic waste management recycling and reduction so it is sailing all around and then finding the solutions and the reasons that how the plastic waste or the plastic pollution can come down then the ship has traveled to over 30 countries and chennai india is its first and only stop so in india chennai it will it will be stopping the journey involves collaborating with local entrepreneurs communities innovators to share global connections and knowledge in addressing plastic pollution so be it private partners or be it government it can collaborate with anyone or the ideas can be shared with anyone so that a better and a good solution with regard to dealing with the plastic pollution can come out now innovative recycling and plastic solutions on the ship now what are the plastic solutions on the ship so that is the ship has a recycling workshop recycling workshop where plastic waste is converted into useful products like wood tiles and construction materials now the plastic waste which is found now that plastic waste within the ship it has a recycling workshop the plastic waste can be converted into wood tiles and construction materials it means that the waste can be converted into something useful next machines on the ship are used to sort and melt plastic waste creating products such as furniture and tiles which can help local communities set up recycling factories now plastic waste can be converted into furniture and tiles also and and that tiles and furnitures can be used by the local communities for setting up anything which they want to set up 
Then a project in Chennai is attempting to make make eye glasses from recycled plastic with collaboration from the Indian Vision Institute and other local organization. So in Chennai, there is Indian Vision Institute and other local organizations which are collaborating with each other and they are planning to make eye glasses from the plastic waste. Then there are also several prototypes of products made from recycled plastic on the ship that is soap dishes, hammers and furnitures. So basically the idea is that converting the plastic waste into something useful. Next is global impact and future plans. So the campaign highlights that every 20 minutes, 20 tons of plastic waste are dumped into the ocean and around 78% of it coming from the land based sources. It means that the amount of plastic waste is increasing every single minute. Then the goal is to stop plastic waste from reaching the ocean before it even hits the land. So that plastic waste should not reach the oceans because in oceans are now also becoming very much polluted. Then achievements are that these include establishing 10 recycling factories in Senegal and setting up factories in Philippines that recycle 300 tons of plastic annually. And while setting up these units, the creation of jobs is also taking place. Then after the campaign, the team plans to focus on the impossible cleanup initiative. Impossible cleanup initiative, reason being that when we talk about the plastic waste, waste in the oceans, then the oceans is so large in size that cleaning the ocean is almost impossible, which aims to clean remote biodiversity rich hotspots. Next comes, will India's solar energy production capacity decrease? So, will it decrease or will it increase? So, the impact of air pollution and climate change on solar energy in India. Now, the impact of climate change can also be so, can, is seen everywhere, but now it is also impacting the solar energy in India. So, recently a study has been done by IIT Delhi that air pollution will reduce the efficiency of solar panels in India. And when we talk about air pollution, then Delhi, the capital of India, is one of the most polluted cities. India, the world's fifth largest solar energy producer, aims to generate 50% of its electricity from non-fossil fuel sources by 2030, with solar energy contributing a fifth of that. Then, the quality of India's 300 sunny days is decreasing due to air pollution, which is reducing the solar radiation reaching solar panels. Now, see, these are solar panels, imagine, these are solar panels, this is sun and if the air is very polluted, then the sunlight which is coming from the sun is not reaching as it is or the intensity of the sunlight is getting reduced because of the polluted air. That is creating a problem with regards to the generation of the solar energy. And India is a country which is moving very fastly and swiftly towards the more and more increase of electricity from the solar panels. Now, study methodology and findings. So, it talks about that the study analyzed data from 1985 to 2014 and, prediction, and predictions were made about changes in solar radiation from 2041 to 2050. So, this change will take place from 2041 to 2050. And researchers used data from global climate models and NASA's CIRIS. CIRIS project stands for Clouds and the Earth's Radiate, Radiant Energy System. Then it talks, up, the study predicts that by mid-century, the efficiency of solar panels will decrease by around 2.3%. The 2.3% reduction in the efficiency of solar panels will take place, resulting in a loss of at least 840 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. Now, what are the recommendations to reduce solar energy loss? So, the recommendations are that there is need to reduce greenhouse gases to mitigate climate change and air pollution and also to maximize the efficiency of solar panels. Next is, at the individual level, adapting electric vehicles using public transportation and participating in activities such as tree planting to promote environmental sustainability are very important. Then, the study suggests that solar energy capacity could increase in India's northeastern and Kerala regions. So, these are few of the recommendations. Now, coming to the practice questions related to all three 
topics that we have discussed. So, the first question is, what ecological functions do sparrows help with? Only water conservation, only natural pest control, pest control, pollination and biodiversity enhancement or only seed dispersal. So, you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and how are you going to answer? You need to write 1, 2, 3 and the answers in front of it. Now, second question, what is the objective of plastic odyssey? To gather sustainable solutions to fight plastic pollution, to organize a global conference on plastic waste disposal, to sell only plastic products or none of the above. Now, coming on to the last question, that is the third question. What is the likely impact of air pollution on the efficiency of solar panels in India? First, the efficiency of solar panels will increase. There will be no change in the efficiency of solar panels. The efficiency of solar, solar panels will decrease or none of the above. We have discussed all three, all three topics. So, I hope you people will be able to give the answers clearly. So, give me the answer in the comment section. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time. Keep reading, keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.